hi guys welcome back to my channel many of you might have already seen the video in which i operated this 220 volts universal motor from a washing machine at just 12 volts dc from a ups battery and as i told you in my previous video that a universal motor can run only in one direction which is clockwise and not in anti-clockwise direction so still if we want to run this universal motor in both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction what we will have to do is we will have to convert uh, this universal motor into a dc shunt motor now to run this motor in both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction all we have to do is change uh, the connections over here and nothing else uh, the lower pins are from the field winding of uh, this universal motor this winding the upper one this one is the armature this is the field winding and this one is also the field winding uh, so the two lower pins are from the field winding so to these field windings i will connect two yellow cables okay yeah this one and this one so the two yellow cables have been connected to the lower pins now to the two middle pins which are connecting the brushes or commutator feeding uh, the armature winding this one to these two pins i will connect these two wires Okay, so guys, the connections have been successfully made. These two are from the brushes or uh, the armature winding and the two yellow ones are from the field winding of this motor. Okay, now comes the connecting part. How we are going to connect the batteries to run it in both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. So guys, first I'm going to show you uh, the resistance of uh, the field winding and the armature winding. Okay. So 200 ohms resistance mode. Let's bring the pointer to that. So yeah, it's at 200 mode. Okay. So first checking uh, the resistance of the field winding of this universal motor now the two yellow wires are for the field winding of this universal motor so connecting the multimeter pins to the yellow wires and you can see that the resistance of the field winding of this universal motor is very low it's two ohms almost only two ohms so the field draws huge amount of current very thick winding has been used for the field winding of the universal motor now let's measure uh, the resistance of the armature winding of this universal motor so this orange and uh, this blue colored wire is for the armature winding let's measure it you can see that its resistance is 4.5 ohms and there is this case with the universal motor that higher the rpm at which this universal motor is operating higher will be the resistance of the armature winding let's see you can see i rotated it its rpm increased from 0 to some value and the resistance increased from 4 to 10 ohms let's go a bit further you saw it 12 18 23 i'll try and go a little bit more 24 35 46 so guys what we can conclude from this experiment is that the resistance of the field winding of a universal motor remains constant and it does not depends on the rpm at which the universal motor is running but the resistance of the armature winding changes with the change in rpm of the universal motor okay now comes uh, the battery connection part so guys for powering up this motor as a dc shunt motor i'm going to use this 12 volts 7 h battery and i'm going to use two of these first 
one for the field and the other one for the army winding So guys, I've connected one of the armature wires to the negative. Now I'm left with this orange one which will be connected over here to the positive. But before I activate the armature wire, first I will connect the field wire. Okay. So for the first case, yeah, shorter one I should connect over here. A little short. Let's move the batteries closer. Yeah, just enough. So yeah, one of the field wire has also been connected. Now I'm left with only two wires, one from the field and other from the armature. Now the field will draw huge amount of current and since it's a coil, it's gonna charge itself like an inductor and there will be spark. That spark is because of the inductance effect from the field of this universal motor. So let's start it and see in what direction it runs. Okay, go. So yeah, it rotated in the anti-clockwise direction. Look closely once again. Okay, keep watching the armature shaft. Okay, go. Yeah, in the anti-clockwise. Now, I will interchange one of the polarity. Like, I'm going to interchange the poles for the armature. Okay? Not the field, but the armature. Only the armature. Okay, one wire has been connected. Now, let's see if it rotates now in the clockwise direction. Okay, go. Yeah, you can see that now it rotated in the clockwise direction because I interchanged the polarities of the armature poles. Same effect will happen if we keep the armature poles same but interchange the field poles. So guys, what we conclude from this test is changing one set of poles either of the armature or of the field changes the direction of rotation for the shaft of a universal motor. Now let's do the same test with one single battery. Okay. So when running this motor in both clockwise and anti-clockwise with just single battery, what we will have to do is connect the armature winding in parallel with the field winding and for bi-directional rotation like clockwise and anti-clockwise we will have to interchange the polarity of one set of the poles as i said okay so uh, the longer wire from the field i will connect to the orange wire okay now let's see in which direction this shaft rotates and uh, while doing this test, even with the 12 volt battery, don't touch these wires with bare hands because uh, there is going to be inductive effect and the voltage is going to fly back and electrocute you. Okay, go. Yeah, you saw that it rotated in clockwise direction. Now let's interchange the polarity. The longer wire has been connected to the orange one. Now I will disconnect it and connect the shorter wire to the orange one okay let's remove it from here it's unsafe okay so the shorter wire now has been connected to the orange one and the longer wire will be connected to this blue wire okay let's try that and it should run in anti-clockwise now okay okay go yeah you saw that it rotated in anti-clockwise direction. Now, you must be noticing that I am just touching it for a second and removing it. That is because the batteries are drained and it's only a 7AH battery. And this motor in the shunt connection is drawing huge amount of current from this battery and is draining it a lot. So for that reason, I'm connecting and disconnecting it. Okay, let's try once more. 
in the anti clockwise direction okay yeah so it's working with just a single battery as well and remember one thing guys when using this motor universal motor as a dc shunt motor the rpm is going to be very low but the torque for this motor is going to be very high because the field will be powered directly so it is going to create a strong electromagnetism inside and thus giving it a very high torque 